Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginner and in this video we are going to discuss about map, filter and reduce. These are all the prototypes of array and in the previous video we have discussed about how to declare an array, how to extract the value from an array and what all the methods and properties available in that array. So if you haven't watched that video, you can watch that out and come to this video so that you will have a better understanding on how that array works. So first we will see the map. So the map is a method that return a new array with whatever the function that you have applied on to the existing array. So for example, here I have a set of array. I'm going to use this as an example to, to teach map, filter and reduce. I'm going to take this number and as I said, map is going to return a new array. Let's say, const new array and I'm going to use this map method on the number array. So to use that, use this number array variable followed by a map and this map accept a callback function and inside the callback function it accept three argument basically the current value and the index and the entire array this array we call it as this array the current value so during each iteration each element or item in an array will be passed to this current value and the corresponding index will be passed and during each iteration the entire number array will be passed to this argument so we don't need this index and this array for this example so i'm going to stick with current val and I'm going to return a new array that contain number two, which get added to each element in a number array. So let's print that out and see how it works. So I'm printing the new array and to execute that use a node array.js. You can see that each element in array, the number two gets added. And this is how the map work. So whenever you want to do some kind of manipulation or if you want to alter the data in each and every record in an array, you can go with map and that map return a new array. If you want to do some kind of filtration, then you should go for filter. For example, if you want to check whether the element in an array is greater than something or lesser than something or whether it contains the particular character in an array or some kind of a check, then you should go for filter. Let's see how the filter work. Let's name this as filter array. So this filter accepts the same argument as a map, but instead of map, we need to use a filter. That's the difference between map and filter. So when you are using a map, the length of the return array is same as original array. Even if you do some kind of a check and if the check is invalid, then you will get undefined for that item when you're using map. So to do this kind of filtration, you need to go with filter and this filter return an array and length of the array may be equal to or lesser than the number array. So here I'm going to check whether the num that is a current val is greater than four. So this filter will check from left to right in each element and whether the number is greater than four or not. If there is greater than four, it put that in a new array. If there is lesser than four, it just ignore the item. So let's execute and see how it works. Six and eight are the two items that is greater than four in the number array. And let's use names. So in the names, we are checking whether the name, let's replace that current val to the name. The name dot length is greater than, let's say five. If the number of characters in the name is greater than five, it will go to this filtered array, otherwise it will get ignored. So if you see that Jenny and Matthew are the two name in the names array that is greater than five and the rest are lesser than or equal to five and that's why it get filtered out. So this is the use of filter. 
So what is reduce? So basically reduce is used to do a summing up of the array. For example, in this number, you can, you can you, with the help of reduce, you can find the sum of all the elements in a numbers. And with the help of reduce in the names array, you can concatenate all the names into one single string. And in the two dimensional array, you can convert this two dimensional array to one dimensional array using reduce. So let's see how to do that. First, we will add all the numbers in a numbers array using a reduce. So numbers dot reduce and these use two value. One is an accumulator and another one is a current value. So accumulator is responsible for holding the sum of elements in an array. Current value pass each element in an array during iteration. So accumulator it, it return accumulator is equal to accumulator plus current value. Let's name this as array. And if you execute that, you can see the sum of numbers in the number array. So let's see how to concatenate the names in the name array. So we have to follow the same stuff. You have to replace the number with names. So let me concatenate with a space so that it looks a bit more readable. You can see that it concatenate all the names in the name array to one single string. So let's see how you can convert the two dimensional array to one dimensional array using this accumulator. So you have to use the array of array and reduce accumulator dot current value. Here you need to use a method called concat to concatenate the two dimensional array into one dimensional array. And inside the concat, you need to pass a value and the current and that is current value. So if you execute that, you can see that it convert all the two dimensional array into one single dimensional array. So that's the use of reduce. So that's all about a map filter and reduce. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.